Tonight on Newswest 9 at 6, a new federal report is shining a spotlight on what's still hiding deep beneath the Permian Basin. And it's a lot more oil and gas than previously thought. But just how big is this discovery and what does it really mean for West Texas? Newswest 9's Stephen Pepper went to find out. If you thought the Permian Basin couldn't get any richer in oil and gas, think again. A recent U.S. geological survey has discovered technically 28.3 trillion cubic feet of gas as well as 1.6 billion barrels of oil right here in the basin. They claim that's enough to supply the nation 10 months worth of gas and 10 weeks of oil. It's obviously important news. It's, it's a reminder of just how valuable this area is, that, that we don't just have one formation that we produce resources from out here, but a number of formations. The survey says these resources are deep, up to 20,000 feet below the surface in the Woodford and Barnett shales. And thanks to advances in drilling and fracking, energy companies can now reach formations that used to be out of range. But Stephen Robertson with the Permian Basin Petroleum Association says just because you can get it doesn't always mean it's profitable. But there's more pressures. There's, there's more unknowns maybe about that formation that you might encounter, and that does raise cost. So when costs go up and price point is more like where it is right now in the mid to low 50s, you might not be able to economically justify producing that resource. So what does this mean for folks here in the basin? Well, Robertson says don't expect a major shakeup. This discovery isn't going to suddenly flood the market or send gas prices plummeting. Instead, he calls it one more asset for energy producers to take advantage of. You're talking about being able to produce everything we're producing right now from just two formations for the next 40 weeks, which is an incredible number. Um, the reality is it's not going to be something that is just the hugest discovery in the world. Robertson adds, because many of these mineral rights in West Texas are privately owned, he expects companies to move forward with production sooner rather than later. For News West 9, I'm Stephen Pepper.